What do you guys got there? A tent. A tent. It says hanging tree house. Mm -hmm. Hanging tree house. So what are we gonna do with that? Put it on our tree. See if we can hang it up in this tree. All right, set it over there. The Crazy Picker Life with Wheeler, Dealer, and Banana Peeler. Good morning, fellow pickers and would-be adventurers. This is Dealer with the Crazy Picker Life. It's Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. For me, Sunday is a faith day and a family day. Today happens to be the kickoff for the Green Bay Packers football NFL season. I'm down at the office here uh, grabbing my camera and trying to get my video to upload since it's mega long. Here's what happened to my gorilla pod. For some reason, I got gorilla like on it, I guess, after the question and answer and broke off one of the legs. I'm hoping I can just snap that back in like a gorilla. So, oh man, trying to do this without a tripod on it is irregular. So, um, I'm going to fix that and uh, probably head back home. I think I missed kickoff. Now, I have to tread lightly here. <laughs> uh, around our house, there's one person in particular that is fanatical, fanatical, fanatic, about Green Bay Packers football. I'm not going to name any names, Lon. Um, but there is somebody around the house that cannot miss a game, cannot miss a kick out. Everything kick off, everything must rotate around that. And that's fine. For me, I don't mind watching the games. Um, I can even say I enjoy watching the games. I kind of like the uh, fun atmosphere if you've got some people around, family around. You can have some food, maybe some beer, maybe some coffee, and hang out without shaking and rocking the boat. And both Lon and I know where this is at. I don't change my whole life just to make it to the game. So, <laughs> with that said, there's a Packer game on today. It's the kickoff. I'm going to sit in and watch some of it. We don't have... Uh, our new bigger TV in and when that's in I'm gonna make it sort of a thing where family gets together and we have a party at least a couple times I don't know if we'll do it every time and I don't know if all the kids will join us and I don't know if that really matters but I'm trying to add a little dimension to it Lon would watch her game by herself on her iPad and be just perfectly happy so, um, I'm not going to get into the whole dynamic there. You can draw whatever conclusions you want. Um, I will say one thing. I used to play sports. Uh, I see the athletic ability needed in football. Like I said, I enjoy watching it. Uh, I played some other sports, and I played those, even though I wasn't like super great at them, I played them what, with what could be called... A fanatical uh, attitude so I enjoyed playing some sports I played basketball a lot there there were that's a, there was a 10-year period where I played a lot of basketball and then after that I played fairly fun and competitive sand volleyball two-man two-person some three-person I hated picnic ball and I played some uh, a and triple a indoor volleyball with six-man teams. That was a lot of fun. Um, I've also went at running pretty hard. So I don't know. I think that's why I'm not so fanatical about watching sports, although I can appreciate them. I, I was more fanatical about doing them. And I, I'm certainly into coaching my kids and supporting my kids in some of those things. So somewhere we meet in the middle. <laughs> So I'm going to go back and watch that. Uh, I think we're going to try to hang up the tree pod today. 
the uh, tent that hangs from a tree for uh, Sam and Lizzie. And I'm just not sure what else uh, we're going to do. It's definitely going to be a, a low and slow day. Hoping to get some sort of an interview with Lon at halftime. We'll see see if she wants to talk about the Packers a little bit. Maybe we can get um, a fan perspective. I do have my jersey on. I'm, I'm trying to play along. <laughs> and I know, I know, I know, I know I'm going to draw flack, comments, questions, etc. for what I just said. I'm not above controversy. <laughs> Uh, my table. Here's our current streaming my ability. My table. We don't have Wheeler, our tech person, so we're having a media ah! error. Please check again in a few moments. So, as predicted, um, the backup is the iPad. <laughs> oh, yeah, better cover up there. I don't know what's going on with your outfit. <laughs> So, how are your Packers doing, Lon? Go Pack, go! <laughs> I feel like one of these interviews go that ask questions go! and then the questions are never answered correctly or whatever. Packers are rocking. So it's halftime. What's the score? Twenty-one. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what the other team has. Seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were watching the game, weren't you? <laughs> I only focus on the Packers. Really? Don't even, who are they playing? Jacksonville Jaguars. Oh, you, you told me you didn't focus on anything but the Packers. Mm -hmm. Okay, lots of excitement at halftime. The Packers uh, had an exciting last-minute play in the end zone, right? Two-minute drill. Do you know who mm -hmm. caught the ball? Devontae Adams. Oh, pretty. Do you, do you remember Devontae. who threw the ball? <laughs> The great Aaron Rodgers. Okay, the great. I heard he sat on the bench for four years behind Brett Favre. He's I'm just repeating what I heard from the announcer. He was absorbing from Brett Favre. Two, two minute drills. Okay, well, lots of excitement here. Um, I wish I could watch it on the big screen as opposed to your iPad. We'll see what we can do. Okay, bye. What do you guys got there? A tent. A tent? It says hanging tree house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hanging tree house. So what are we going to do with that? Put it on our tree. See if we can hang it up in this tree. Alright, set it over there. Set it over here. Right there. We're going to have to figure out what we need to install it. Are you excited? Okay, let's see what we can I'm do. Really you are? Woo! Hope it works. Well, it's taken shape. We got some rings in it, didn't we, buddy? Mm -hmm. Got the rings, the upper and the lower rings in there, so it kind of holds its shape. Now we need to go find or buy some rope. It did not come with the rope. So, time to go down to the office and see if we have some rope, right? Okay, let's go. Oh, a Packers update. In the fourth quarter, I think they're up 27-20. I just peeked at the iPod. Whatever. Packers are winning. Packers are winning? Is that what you're saying? Are you a Packer fan? Yeah. Yeah? How come you're not watching the game? Funner stuff to do? Yeah, I'm wearing a Packers shirt. So you're a fan because you're wearing a Packers shirt? No. Yeah, me too. I got Gilbert Browns, I think. Retired Jersey. Everybody tells me he's not playing anymore. That's the last time I really was into the Packers Back in the day The last day Well, we found an excuse to go for a Jeep ride. So that's the good news We're gonna go get some rope. The rope I had down at the office was too short and maybe not good enough for outside use and maybe not big enough so we're gonna go to where Orschelins to get some rope mm. Mm. does that sound good yeah. i got my uh helper sam with me today you're good help mm -hmm. how old are you now six. Oh man you ought to be able to tie all these ropes off right mm 
All right. All right. Well, we we had a back into our back lot here with this heavy load, didn't we, Sam? What did we get? Can you reach those out of there? We got a little rope, and then we got the mega rope. That's a pretty serious rope, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Sam found that one. All right, let's carry it over to our work area here. Bring it on the other side here. We'll go see if we can get a ladder and get Noah to help. Just put it down by the box there. All right, we're gonna string this thing up after a snack. What happened over there? Packers Rock! Packers Rock? We beat the Jacksonville Jaguars! Whoa. House is gonna be happy tonight. Way to go. Woo! Super fun. Woo! You getting that rope all tied up so we can stow it away, the extra? Mm -hmm. How's it working? Good. It's like a snake on your arm, isn't it? Yeah. You got to get around and over around your elbow there. Hey, starting over? Mm -hmm. All right. Start in your hand. Oh, I don't want this rope dangling down here. Okay, so let's wrap it. Bunch of times? No, because the wind will slowly unravel that. Yeah. Wheeler in a tree. Hmm. Wheeler the woodsman. Yeah, Where are you? Same thing three times, it actually looks like a knot. I, I'm coming the wrong way here. Oh my goodness, where's your opening? How did right it on this side. get so turned around? Uh. Yeah, it's supposed to keep it from turning. Yeah, I don't think they're quite set up just to work. They gotta go wider. Yeah. Oh, you guys are zipped up. I see we're here. <laughs> Where are you? Oh! You guys were in there? You like it in there? Pretty cool. Did you get, were you able to zip it shut by yourself? Wow. Well, there it is, the tree house. Oh, meanwhile, I've been making supper and not doing a very good job of it, so I gotta get back to that. So how did the installation go, Wheeler? I don't know, not too bad. The instructions were confusing, but once we figured them out, it worked. Instructions were confusing for sure. There it was. There's three windows. Look at the camera, smile. Hey, sis, do not jump in there, please. Uh -huh. It's not rough time in there. It's not like a bouncy house. So we had to get way up there. And way up over there. Wheeler climbed up over there. Open. Had to trim some branches. Buy some rope. Open. Make a modification. And there we are. We're about six inches or a foot too high, but too hard to adjust it now. I think it'll work out. Yep, the lantern spot up there too if you want to sleep in there like a tent. If you want to be in there at night? Yeah, I've got a glasses spot and more like a tent. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, this is, uh, this is pretty high quality. Yeah. <laughs> Rip stop, it's like what they use in rafts, I think is what it is. But it's not a bouncy house, okay? No. So don't bounce around in there so much. You can have fun, but not too much bouncing because it won't fall, but it might rip. No sharp stuff either, like sticks or anything, okay? Okay, <laughs> that's dealer's safety lesson, dad talk for the day. And then there's this packer person over here still gloating. What about all the poor Jacksonville Jaguar fans? They're used to losing, so they're gonna be okay. All right, I guess, anything else? Chiefs won, Denver won, it's all good. Who wins next week? All your co-workers teams won, since we have Chiefs on one side and Denver on the other, Broncos on the other. Everybody's gonna be happy. Good week at work, is that important? Thank you.
Oh, 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 you're on camera. Yeah, yeah. Okay, dealer's got a hidden agenda. Nobody knows it except me. All right, so it's like six o'clock at night and my internet is so stupid. It's supposed to be one mega blofter up and it's like 0 0.1, 0 0.15. So it's like 10 times less than I'm supposed to get. I can't upload. I'm like 17 hours in on this upload. 16 hours in on this upload. It's ridiculous. It's at 50%. I know you're fine with it out there for the most part. It's just so frustrating. I mean, it's a long video, but a 30 hour upload, a 35 hour upload, I can't deal with that on a daily vlog. So I guess I can't make such long ones till I get my new internet and then I'll just live stream everything. I haven't decided if I'm stopping the vlog here. I think the rest of the night's just gonna be low key, nothing exciting. The tree, the tree fort was as exciting as it gets. I'm so excited I can't even find the off button. Okay, well, hey, ho, whatever. <laughs> We had a good uh, Sunday, got the tree house up. Both uh, Lizzie and Sam liked the tree house. Lon got to watch her football and we got to uh, just sort of chill out at home. We didn't go traveling this Sunday. It's hard for me not to do something like that. Um, did get to sit out a little bit, little bit earlier, uh, listen to the cicadas. It was a nice calm evening. I like the noise of cicadas. If you've watched my show, sometimes I sit out there with the buzz of the cicadas. That's going to be ending here pretty soon once we get a little cooler. So those uh, those nights are limited. Okay, I do not work Sundays. Uh, but 12.01 a.m. Monday morning, one minute after midnight, one minute into Monday. Fair game, right? So I'm in the office, it's uh, 12.41. I did get a little nap in before I came. So when I come in Monday mornings like this, sometimes I sleep for a while and come in at three or 4 a.m. before my big Monday with the kids. Monday with the kids during the school year. If I am backpedaling, the whole week feels like I'm backpedaling, so. I either got to come in just after midnight and pack orders and get everything squared up or I've got to come in at 3 or 4 a.m. and get everything squared up. There's pros and cons for both. If I come in just after midnight, I can bust it, get everything done, and when I go home at 3, 4, 5 a.m. Uh, to take a nap, <laughs> I know I'm good. So that's there's a certain good feeling with that. Now there can come some orders, more orders can come in after I go home after 5 a.m. or 4 a.m. And typically I'll get a couple more out before post office time. If I wake up and come down here at 3 or 4 or 5 a.m., uh, chances are I might not get everything done. And it's a certain feeling of feet to the fire and so I don't necessarily like that. I think it's better sleep if I sleep through but sanity versus sleep, you know, there's no doubt I'm crazy already. So what, whatever you can't, you can't touch my sanity. All right. So this morning, 1239 on Monday is kind of, you know, <laughs> it's kind of moving into the Sunday vlog. So I'm going to cut it off here shortly, but I wanted to talk for a minute and show you the orders. I've already printed the orders. The next thing I do after printing the orders, uh, I check through my questions on all my different accounts to make sure nobody canceled an order. Uh, I know there's already one guy who wants me to check something over before I ship it out, so I need to take that and put it aside and make sure I do that. Um, then I pack the orders. Then I look around, make sure there's nothing else that I got to uh, you know, maybe set aside for tomorrow or today, however you want to look at it. 
uh, a bill to pay or something to drop off or, or whatever. And then more or less I'm out of here and I go take a nap. By then I'm usually tired again. Right now I'm pretty fired up. I'm, I'm in pretty good shape. Um, I did print 22 orders, which is why I'm in. I mean, there's just no way I can show up tomorrow for an hour before post office and, and even make a dent on this. A few of these were from uh, Saturday after, you know, five, six o'clock. Uh, we did the question and answer show, which still isn't uploaded. It's like at 70%. It's just ridiculous. And I'm in a different time frame than you are watching this, but let's see. Started at about 1 a.m. And now it's 1 a.m. again almost. 24 hours and I'm at 70%. Now it's a long video, but that's just ridiculous. I'm solving that problem this week, I hope. 22 orders um, just for, oh, what do they call that, snorts and giggles? Oh man, that's like high school, 1980s, you know, some people had their buzzwords and I don't know, one of my friends, oh, just for snorts and giggles, <laughs> oh my gosh, flashback. <laughs> there, you know, there are, uh, speaking of flashbacks, some people might wonder what that album is up there. Uh, in the 80s, there was a band called Devo. Most people are familiar with Whip It, Whip It Good, and a bunch of other uh, goofball songs. Uh, there's an album I picked up. I just have it up there. It's just kind of a... Here, let's take a look. Hey, these guys always had a certain look, right? And... They don't look too happy. Anyway, so uh, 22 orders just for fun. 1368 is the total. That's a pretty good 24 hour ish total. Uh, 22 orders, $62 an order. Some, somebody asked, um, come on, focus. <laughs> it's not a manual focus. Every time that Wheeler handles my camera, and I'm really glad that he's good at cameras, but he messes with my settings. So now I've got a whole bunch of weird little things blinking at me, and I just don't know what's going on. Wheeler, keep your hands off my camera. So, uh, $62 in order. That's pretty good. There's a big one in there for $450. There's a bunch of little ones. That number does not include shipping. There's a couple foreign orders, and there's a couple Northwest Kansas orders, which I always put shipping on all the non-camera oddball stuff. So I'm gonna get my questions sorted out and highlighted and figured out and then I'm gonna pack like crazy. So there will be um, a nap here coming up and then another vlog, the Monday vlog comes out Tuesday. Hopefully I get my internet and vlogs sorted out and not so stacked up. I feel so stacked up, I'm going nuts. Really, I'll be okay. Pick well, list often. By the way, this is going to be a huge listing week for Wheeler and I. That is another reason to hit the ground running this week. Four days in the office and then we're out uh, picking Friday and Saturday. So those four days we're in the office, personally, i got to make some headway and clear some room and all that kind of good stuff and i know that uh wheeler's got lenses galore he told me he's got 300 lenses cleaned in his office and ready to go so other than school with the kids etc running two miles a day no beer miles <laughs> uh regular stuff packing it's gonna be list list well no <laughs> no pick well this week although i'm supposed to pick something up wednesday it's list often and there's going to be some listing okay <coughs> try to get it straight try to keep it straight dealer out hey, dealer production <laughs>